Hey, what's going on? I'm Mike Herrera from MXPX. Tumble down and I do solo stuff. So, Mike Herrera. Yeah. So, it's been a while since I've been seeing you at MXPX. Mm -hmm. And I follow your tweets and your stuff on Facebook. Now that there's all the social networking, you follow what's going on yeah. with you. But um, get us up to date. You know, I had read sure. MXPX's recording now, and Yuri wasn't really touring with MXPX. So, let's know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, MXPX sort of took a, quite a, a big break for a while. and. Gary wasn't sure what he wanted to do. He was thinking he was going to quit the band, and he decided not to. He decided he's going to we're going to record a new record, which we started already, and um, I'm going to finish it when I get back from this tour. But um, we'll be doing one-offs. We've done a few one-offs with MXPX with Tom and Gary, um, and I also do MXPX All Stars with uh, Chris Wilson. Usually it's Chris, Chris Wilson on drums and uh, Chris Rowe on on guitar. Although it doesn't necessarily have to be all the time. I don't you know. Just has been so far. Um, doing tours with that, and I'm doing uh, Tumble Down, my new band Tumble Down, doing a lot of touring with that. And then now I'm here on the East Coast doing a solo tour. So it's actually it's my first US solo tour. Very and cool. I've done it in Australia and Japan and uh, South America. So why there first? It's just how things worked out. Mm -hmm. you know, opportunities come, you take them, you know, you just okay. go for it. So. And then you went to Australia, the one the Atari song? So mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It's like you've been very busy. Yeah, you know, I, played, like, I played bass with the Ataris, and, um, and then they played with MXPX, so. So MXPX has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. It's, yeah. So many bands are, you know, flashing up in here, gone. You know, so you've had a lot of experiences. What do you say to new bands starting out? You know, there's a lot of these little bands well, starting out that just... Yeah. Don't know what to do. I mean, now with social networking, I think things are easier than when you guys started. Yeah, I mean, for now, I think nowadays, like with a lot of young bands, it's not so much about um, getting huge in the world. It's more about, you know, being popular amongst your friends and being in the right crowd and playing the right shows. And, you know, that's fine, but uh, it's kind of a different thing than, than say, being a, a, a musician that does this as a, as a job and... and is touring in and out there making music for a living. So I think they're two different things completely. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, you do a lot of the same things with the social media and all that, but you also have to, you know, when I'm touring, you know, Brazil or Japan or something, obviously I'm not just talking to my friends at home or my little group of regional mm -hmm. uh, fan base. You know, you, really, you have to sort of like, do diff, you know do the same thing but a little bit different for each region as you go so it's, it's pretty hard actually especially if you're doing it by yourself or mm -hmm. or close to by yourself so. so what do you say to a band who you know I'm sure over the course of your career you've been on tours where you really didn't fit in with the other bands that you're playing with yeah oh yeah plenty of times right and and it's hard it's like it's hard to get up there every night then the crowd's not your crowd and to put you know your set together, regardless of how long your set is, where you are in the build. Mm -hmm. What do you say to those bands? You know, how, how do you get through those? I mean, you've been well, there. I think those those types of situations, you have to really one not psych yourself out, you know, because there are people that are going to be into it. You know, maybe not right away. Maybe they're just, you know, but you just have to be true to yourself and do what you do. And mm -hmm. and if you enjoy what you do, then chances are other people will too. Um, and it really is a character building situation too, mm -hmm. you know, to overcome the frustration, overcome the, the, I guess, feeling insecure about not fitting in. So that's what I've, you know, been there many times. <laughs> Still am. I can't see that you'd be there now, but, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, most of now you headline, so you don't have to, you bring the other yeah, people out. Yeah, back and you. forth, yeah, yeah. You know. With Tumble Down though, with Tumble Down I kind of started over and, and um, even with the solo stuff, this is my first tour, so I'm playing a lot of small places and, and of course people don't really know what to expect, so I get the hardcore MXPX fans, I get Tumble Down fans, um, but you know, I'm not bringing a ton of like new people, it's people that have sort of... Still so your core? Yeah, yeah, and that's to be expected, you know, it's a solo, sh solo show. And, which I haven't done yet. So I actually put out a, a new album or a solo album uh, that's live from the basement. It's just kind of a good representation of what I'm doing for the shows. Because I've, you know, it's 
it's too easy to just say, okay, yeah, this is how I do, this is song I do, and it's a full band song that they're listening to. Mm -hmm. You don't really get the idea of, okay, what does it sound like? Just you. So that's what I finally ended up putting out this, you know, it, it's not like a full release, it's just a mm -hmm. self-release thing that I did that's for cool. this tour. So, really cool yeah. so how are you deciding what songs you're going to do then? Well, Because I know you said uh, yeah. some are requests. Like yeah, some, yeah, some are, I, I try to do, you know, a lot of requests, but sure, there's a lot of requests. Favorite. Yeah, yeah, it's different in every city and, and for me, it's like, I don't want to do too many requests because then it slows down the show. Mm -hmm. You know, if I can keep it moving, then I can play more songs for people. Chances are I'll do your request. Um, but there are those songs that are really weird for me to play acoustically by myself. What I ask for. So I'll have to, <laughs> I have to like go through it in my mind and go, okay. And then beyond that, I actually have to like put, pick up the guitar and actually see if it works. So there's been a few songs that people have, wanted me to do that have worked and then there's been a few that just I feel like they've gone down in flames. So, we'll so how did you make the transition then from, you know, you play bass in MSPX mm -hmm. and you do these songs on bass and now you're doing the solo tour and you're doing these songs on guitar? Yeah, yeah. It is a little strange sometimes to, to be doing what I normally would do on right. bass. Now I've got to like, okay, play open chords. So, so it's not just the same thing, you know, right. a lot of times it's a lot different and, and I have to find ways of, sometimes it's just chords and vocals, sometimes I have to try to like, okay, I'm going to put a little of that melody line that Tom plays right. into the stuff. So it ends up being a little different because I am by myself, so I kind of, I do cheating, I do, I do things differently to make them, make them ring out with strings and then have the melody line go over it, stuff like that. Um, and, and I, the songs that work well like that, I end up trying to do more often. And then, of course, the songs that I feel like are too rhythmic, that really need drums and a full band, you know, I try not to do that stuff as much. So, yeah. But as far as like guitar playing, I'm not a great guitar player, but I have been playing a long time, <laughs> just oh, writing sorry. songs. So, uh, this, you know, doing these tours, I get better very quickly. Like it, I kind of get rusty when I'm back home recording and doing what I do, and um, but getting out here doing solo shows really, really helps me. So where did the idea of Tumble Down come from? Tumble Down was, uh, you know, I really wanted to just do a, do a different band because Evan Spinks was slowing down a lot, but I didn't want to just do another punk band because I knew that I'd still be writing for MXPX, so I wanted to write songs that were different enough. Um, and the sound was different enough to where I could have both bands. And that was the whole idea behind Tumble Down is, is doing something more folky, more songwritery. Um, and then it kind of morphed into something a little harder, a little more punk, you know. And um, when you see our live shows, they're, they're definitely energetic, like a punk show. But uh, the playing is different, and we've got an upright bass. And so it's got a lot of elements, folk and, and country elements to it, but with a serious punk attitude and the songwriting, of course, is me. So a lot of it, I mean, you could say, okay, that song could almost be an MXPX song and vice versa with a few MXPX songs could almost be Tumbling songs, but that's just because it's me singing. Um, lyrically, it's a lot different, um, definitely. I try to like write MXPX songs one way and, and Tumbling Down songs another way. Now, lately when I'm doing interviews with everybody, now I would ask this next question. I'm going to do it just because we're doing this interview. You need to zoom in then. So, okay. okay. That too. She's going to zoom in on it. All right. Hey. And give us the story behind it. And then we're going to wrap this up. All right. Only because right. it's like, yeah. And, I, and I've been on your bus when you've had some of your work done. Yeah. So. Story behind it. Story somewhere. behind it. Well, yeah. this tattoo I got in Bremerton, or Soledad, Washington, near Bremerton, mm -hmm. by Keith Underwood. Uh, him and Oliver Peck, that's done a lot of my tattoos. They were both tattooing me that day uh, at my buddy's shop, Lucky Boy's Tattoo. And um, I ended up getting 11 tattoos. A lot of them were small. Like, I think that was one of them, that was one of them, that was one of them. Um, I think there was a, there were, I got like one regular tattoo, one bigger one, and then I got a bunch of little ones. So I counted 11, so I got an 11. Because it's the most tattoos <laughs> I've ever gotten in one day. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah.